Hey guys, uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about making your own chapstick. Um, it's important to keep like like your lips moisturized, especially in the winter when that cold air can like, you know, give you chapped lips. Um, so this, oops, you can purchase these little uh, chapstick tubes very inexpensively, um, or you could put it in a smaller container with a screw top lid uh, and make it as a lip balm. Um, the recipe works for both. So for this, what you're going to need to do is get some water boiling on the stove. Um, then you want shea butter. Shea butter is kind of like working with like a clay. You need one eighth cup of shea butter. You need one eighth cup of grated beeswax. You can use a small, I use small graters like this, you know, and just one eighth cup isn't much. Um, so one eighth cup of shea butter, one eighth cup of grated beeswax, and then you're just going to need one or two drops of pure vitamin E oil. That's what makes it really healthier for the skin. And this one I'm also going to add some flavor because it's a chapstick. You could buy these little food flavoring bottles. I'm going to put watermelon because that seems like a good flavor for chapstick. So all you do is put, you need one of these, one of these or a double boiler or whatever, because this will sit over that hot water and allow everything to cook in here without getting water in it. So one eighth cup of shea butter, one eighth cup of grated beeswax, and one teaspoon of fractionated coconut oil. This is what it looks like. It's coconut oil, but it's fractionated. Um, it's for skincare. So one teaspoon of that. Oops. Put a little extra. Then you just set that on top of your water, like that. Um, and that's it. So you'll want to mix this up. I use this little plastic uh, spatula just to kind of play with it. It's already melting. Um, it won't take long. So as that works through, shea butter is extremely good for your skin. It moisturizes, it protects it from getting dry. Coconut oil, same thing. Um, vitamin E oil, obviously vitamin, vitamin E is the vitamin that your skin wants. Now you can make this in the planetary hour of Venus if you want to kind of add some astrological uh, power to it. Um, Venus uh, rules things like attractiveness and beauty and you know skincare and such. Uh, Venus is also the planetary ruler of the sign Libra and Libra rules not just our kidneys but also our skin. Um, so this is almost melted down already. Give it a little stir. Uh, you're not going to add the flavoring just yet. If you have, I have a few clumps there of shea butter that needs to melt. Now this, these measurements: one eighth cup shea butter, one eighth cup grated beeswax, one teaspoon fractionated coconut oil. Um, doesn't make much. It'll make, where am I putting them? Oh, it'll make about two of these. And I think I put a little extra of each ingredient in, so it might make three, but right now I'm only concerned with making two. So just make sure your caps are off because once you're done cooking this, well, we'll get to that in one second. It's just about there. So it's just about there. What you want is everything to be totally melted and you have this nice golden liquid, which we have. So before I turn it off, I'm going to add maybe like a quarter dropper of vitamin E. You don't want to add a whole lot of vitamin E because it does have a scent and a taste of its own. And you don't want that to overpower the watermelon. Um, Okay, this is ready to be turned off. Now, as soon as you turn it off, you have to add either your essential oil for scent, flavor, I'll add a few drops of the watermelon. You don't want to do too much because then it'll be disgusting. Um, it'll kind of taste like cough syrup if you add too much. So I'm gonna mix that in. It does not mix nice because it is also an oil. So it kind of makes it look like uh, speckled gold water. And now we want to put it into the tubes immediately because it will start to set. This is the tricky part. 
you gotta pour this liquid into this. So I'm just gonna do this over the sink. You, you won't see it, it'll be off camera, but it tends to be a little messy. There we go. Okay, and there's enough for one more. Pour that in. Okay. We have our two chapsticks. Now we're gonna set them because that will start, set them over here where they won't be bothered with because that's already starting to uh, form up into chapstick-like consistency. So while you're waiting for that to happen, you can clean up. Um, there you go, very simple. Look, that took, I don't know, five minutes and we made two tubes of chapstick. So you can like double or quadruple a recipe if you make a whole bunch and like give them out as gifts or whatever, um, or just to have them on hand. Uh, they'll last a long time. So there you go. That is uh, how we make chapstick. Have a great day.